So NRU are a UK-based MSP. Um, we typically work with clients that are normally highly regulated. Um, also, the client base tends to be quite high velocity. Things like um, challenger banks, um, startups, uh, uh, divestments, uh, digital transformations. So typically, customers who are going through fairly dramatic changes. Effectively, we're protecting their business uh, with protecting their customers. Historically, the challenge has always been around audits that they're conducted periodically, at best quarterly, sometimes uh, annually. From the moment you finish the audit, uh, effectively your risk starts and you'll probably see your actual compliance is dropping off and then there's a hive of activity that happens pre-audit. Um, using InSpec has enabled us to have continuous visibility of that, which means that you enter into audits with uh, knowing the outcome. Once something is built and it's handed over, they know it's compliant and it's continuously compliant. Starting with InSpec enabled us to uh, free up some, some space in the operational teams by reducing unplanned work and things, which also has given us a blueprint to then move on to Chef Automate. So we used the, the whole automation process to not only deploy, but to configure, integrate and test and run it in that cycle. And where we're starting to take it now is join the two together. So the compliance uh, elements through InSpec and the Chef Automate piece, we're now joining uh, and starting to uh, detect and correct with the same process. So not only there is an issue, we'll deal with the issue. Uh, and using those two together is fantastic. The piece of advice I would give people who start on this journey is um, it's all about engaging the teams. I think if you try and build this out in a single element of your organisation, it will fail. Um, the technology is amazing and it can do amazing things, but I think the lesson I've learned throughout is having great technology is less than half the answer. It's really all about the adoption. and finding things that are wins for the team. So really understand what problems you're fixing for your teams. And by doing that, it drives the adoption. And we, it's taken a while and that's built up, but now we have the teams that are coming to us and saying, actually, can you write me a recipe for this? Can you write me a control for that? Because they're seeing the upside benefits.